So today I'll be discussing the south node being in Sagittarius and the north node in Gemini, but specifically we will be focusing on the south node being in Sagittarius and what that means collectively. Uh, we still have 11 more degrees of this transit and it will be over in January of 2022. And after that, the South Node will enter the sign of Scorpio. So first of all, the South Node has to do with the past. It has to do as well with confusion, with loss or stagnation, stagnancy. And it has to do with our comfort zones. So when the South Node transits a sign, it shows periods that we may revisit the certain themes of that sign, or we may become stagnant in terms of the themes of that area. So with the South Node being in Sagittarius, this indicates that some of the themes you may have experienced is perhaps returning to past belief systems or being stagnant in terms of your direction in life feeling perhaps a loss of faith or a loss of guided direction. Um, Sagittarius also has to do with education and it has to do with teachers, belief, and faith. But to sum it down very simply, Sagittarius has to do with the words, the opinions, and the minds of other people. And this is because Sagittarius is the opposite of Gemini which is our own mind, our own thoughts, and our own conclusion. Not really our conclusions, but our ideas and opinions. So the South Node being here could indicate confusion over what to believe and whose ideas are credible. Perhaps also being deceived, because that's the South Node, by belief systems or things that you hear from others. And this sense of confusion and stagnancy, but the North Node in Gemini indicates that this was a time where we were encouraged or felt inspired to materialize our own opinions, our own ideas, and think for ourselves. And there was large co collective confusion over belief systems and mind you this transit started may 5th 2020 and this is when there was a lot of collective confusion of what to believe and stuff so that was one theme and as well like i said the other themes would be you know a sense of stagnancy in your education or in your direction of career perhaps and last but not least, returning to past belief systems. Now, when the nodes are in mutable signs, like Gemini and Sagittarius, this indicates states of change. Mutability has to do with changing times. So nothing is really set in stone. It's all about ideas and communication when the North Node is in Gemini and speaking your own opinion and your own intelligent thoughts and not getting lost in what other people have to say. So not looking for external guidance and not listening to what others have to say arbitrarily, that was just going to lead to confusion. And that was a big theme of 2020. So, and still to this day, and we're still in this state of mutability and change. So... Next, we will experience the South Node in Scorpio. And Scorpio is a fixed sign. The North Node will be um, in Taurus. That's a fixed sign. And fixed signs have to do with states of being. They're ways of being. They're just states that you're stuck in. So what we may experience with the South Node being in Scorpio some of the themes of Scorpio are lack mentality, capitalism, debt, 
scarcity, uh, let's see, codependency, power struggles, just general negativity as well as secrets. So with the South Node transiting here, you may find yourself perhaps returning to past, you know, codependent situations. Perhaps returning to, you know, situations that are negative or didn't serve you as well. And it would be more of a state of being. So it would be returning to past states of being. So... This is something that might become our comfort zone or may become more comfortable when the South Node transit in Scorpio. But in addition, this has to do with capitalism. And one of the themes that we will experience is a mass scale of perhaps debt or lack or scarcity and being dependent on others, especially perhaps the system, the government. And this has to do with capitalism as well. So the South Node operates kind of like a funnel. It kind of absorbs energy and everything gets pulled towards it. Because when you picture the nodes of the moon, it's almost like a tilt. And the South Node is at the bottom. The North Node is tilted upwards. And the North Node indicates what we're... Um, trying to materialize so the tilt will be towards this water sign scorpio so there's a very strong magnetism with south node in scorpio that pulls everything towards capitalists you know so that might be a theme that we experience like either being in debt or either capitalizing a lot on others debt and um on their money, making large sums of money, that will be a theme that the 1% will experience. Finally, what else could the South Node indicate? I had one more thing. Oh yeah, there could be confusion because the South Node indicates where we can feel lost, stagnant, or confused. So there could be stagnancy due to secrets, hidden agendas, or hidden motives during this time. And we could feel pulled to move away from occult topics as well and focus more on the material side of life, the practical, realistic, Taurus side of life. And what we'll, we will be called to materialize during this time in a general sense, which is the North Node, is we'll be able to call to materialize self-sufficiency, uh, resources and stability and contentment. But the South Node will indicate that it will be easier to find oneself in a lack mentality. And a theme of the South Node in Scorpio, which happens, you know, it happens every 18 years or so. That's how fast the North Nodes return to the do a full orbit. So the last uh, South Node in Scorpio was in 2004, uh, 2003 to 2004. It started in March of 2003 and that was when they experienced the highest unemployment rate in 10 years so the last the highest since 1994 was in 2003 in june so this really has to do with this scarcity tendency of the south node in scorpio there is a there's a lack mentality there's a lot of debt and this is just something I have been seeing as well in the moon charts ever since 2020. There's just been this pileup of scarcity and lack of resources and debt. You know, a lot of Scorpio moons, a lot of eighth house energy, a lot of Venus at the final degrees on the new moons and the full moons. That was a lot of the themes in 2020. So... Those are things that we may experience in the South Node being in Scorpio, especially returning to past states of being, past power struggles or past codependent situations. You want to look out for that and try to find self-sufficiency, which will be harder to do because that's the North Node. Um, 
but this is what we will be called to materialize. Uh, wealth, independence, etc. So that was a breakdown of the South Node in Sagittarius as well as the South Node in Scorpio. So other than that, I appreciate you guys watching. I hope that was useful, valuable in some way. And I will see you guys in another video.